What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start this video, I do want to make two announcements. And the first one is, don't forget to go check out my new vlog channel. I just started it on Saturday or Sunday. And you can go check that out in the description down below. There is a link to my vlog channel. The second announcement is, don't forget about the Easy Raffle. It is happening now. It does end soon. The thing is, I am extending until Sunday, so you guys have more time to join that. The ticket prices are... $10 for one and then $25 for three. So you're getting a $5 discount if you buy three. And the winner gets to choose between a size nine or 11. Moving on to today's video, I am talking about how to survive at a sneaker convention. So basically, this is just tips on what you can do prior to buying the ticket to the sneaker convention or just being at the convention as well. So first things first, let's start off when you buy the ticket. A lot of places they do sell your general admission tickets obviously because everybody has to go in and then they do have vendor tables so if you have shoes to sell you can buy a vendor table but even if you're getting a regular admission ticket you can also buy that ticket as well but the only problem is that you only are limited to a certain amount of shoes depending on the sneaker convention so in my case i've been to two sneaker conventions one i think it was sneaker something and the second one was soul fest the first one i went to it was limited to the amount of shoes I can bring because I didn't have a vendor table. But then at Soulfest, I did get that vendor pass because I did buy a vendor table. And the way they worked is they let me buy a vendor table and you're able to bring three people with that vendor table ticket. You get a table, you get an entry into a contest where if you have the nicest table, you win a hundred bucks. So the benefits about buying the vendor table you do actually get a better deal buying the table than you do just buying the ticket. I know that the vendor table might be like 100 bucks, 90 bucks, somewhere around that price. It's usually 80, 100 bucks. Well, the good thing is it's split between three people. So if you get your three people to go to that table, you can actually split the price into three. So you can split it amongst you and two other friends. It might come out a little bit more expensive than the general admission ticket, but it's worth it to have your own table where you can put all, all your shoes. You can have as many shoes as you want. You get to sit down and relax and just literally just chill. So that's really a good benefit in buying a vendor table. I recommend that personally. That's what I do and that's what I'm gonna do from now on. And actually this weekend on Sunday, I will be at Sneaker Games and I will be selling shoes. I will be having these two Yeezys there to raffle off as well, which will be part of the current raffle. So the people that are at the convention can join that raffle as well. Okay, now moving on to the sneaker convention bring the best shoes that you got or the shoes that you're selling but only bring the best ones because if you have the best ones you're bringing and you're limited then it just shows that you could have more pairs at home so people will think that and they'll want to get your number if you do resell shoes or obviously just make more profit out of it and another thing is ask everybody what their prices are for the shoes i mean if you're trying to flip while you're there then go ahead and do that by all means i mean i remember last time I went, I bought a pair of LeBrons for 60 bucks. I was gonna ball on them, but then I ended up looking at them and I was like, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna ever wear, gonna wear them or not. So I ended up selling them for 80 bucks. I made 20 bucks in a matter of 10 minutes by the time the sneaker convention closed. Also, don't forget to bring a duffel bag. Bring the biggest one you have. So what you wanna do is get all your sneaker boxes, put it in the duffel bag. So then it leaves like kind of like a boxy like shape. So you have a kind of like a table that you can walk around with. And then on top of the bag, you can put the shoes, but only put one out of the two. So you have more space and you can show as money as you can. And that's just like a little tip that I've seen people do. One more thing, don't forget to cut your budgets for the sneaker event. I know you're really like willing to buy shoes. You're really vulnerable to buy the shoes that you really want if you see them there. Just know your budgets. Try not to blow all your money. I mean, just bring the money that you're gonna spend and that's it. Try not to blow all your money because in the end, you don't wanna be broke. One more tip is, Make sure you make as many connections as possible because you don't know who you're talking to. You could be talking to the biggest reseller or you can just be talking to anybody, but you don't know that. So try to make as many connections as possible. Be cool with everybody. Like this Sunday, I know Benjamin Kicks is going to be there. I mean, obviously the, the whole sneaker world knows who he is, but anybody else walking around, you don't know like what kind of plug they are. They could be your next plug or you can be their plug too. Who knows? Just make as many connections as possible. It'll really help you out in the long run. Anyways, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Also, let me know if I missed out on anything because I feel like I did, but I'm not too sure. And if you enjoyed videos like this or you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you stay woke. Our Sneaker signing out. Peace.